Welcome back to Dave Does Outdoors. I'm not sure where um, the little sidekick Audrey is. <coughs> it's quite early, it's a Sunday morning. I've not managed to get out this weekend, um, but I need to do a couple of things. My Stratusfire um, summer double pole tent is, um, it's got an inner um, tarp tent. It's got like an attic pocket, it's called kind of extra storage space. It's still in that. I've now I'm going to be using my scarp now, so I wanted to get the stratus fire up in the back garden. I also need to cut a ground sheet and take out the attic, stick it in the scarp. Um, probably sweep out the scarp a little bit because we're now kind of heading into winter. Or I think it's pretty well the first of October. Um, so. Um, <coughs> So I thought I'd just kind of put up both the tarps. It's been raining overnight, so the grass is all wet. So, um, but we will be able to dry things out if it gets wet. Um, and as you can see by the, the thumbnail, um, I haven't sort of what haven't been sort of camping for years using different tents. I've got, I think maybe five or six different tents. Um, some are over thirty years old and you know kind of done. And, um, but my more modern tent's got a good sense of kind of what what makes a good tent, and I I think the <clears throat> the Scarp One by Tarp Tent is is way up there. I'm I'm describing it the be the best one or two person tent, um, perhaps in the world. I don't know. That's my opinion. Um, watching different kind of YouTubers doing different kind of sort of um, the the Scarp for its weight. For its strength, there's a couple of wee. In fact, my my best YouTube video has been five negatives. Um, so when I started to use the scarp years ago, I did a kind of five negatives of the scarp one, and I think it's been my best video. It's had over eight thousand views, or um, and it's just wee things. Um, but then I did one all the kind of positives. But overall, now that I've been using it pretty constantly for. Um, I don't know, three years, I think it's, and, and getting it back out again just last weekend, it's just like, you know, amazing. I think for its its weight, its durability and strength, um, its space, um, what else, just general build quality. Tarp 10, they started off really small in the States, almost like a kind of cottage company, but it's, it's big, it's much, much bigger now. They're creating new tents, they're designing, they're kind of, um, you know, breaking new kind of sort of boundaries around sort of tent making in the States. I, I, there's issues about getting them sent over, but I guess, again, you know, now that there's been a lot more produced over the last few years, you can actually pick them up second hand. So over the last six months, I've seen Scarp 1, Scarp 2s. I looked on, on eBay today, there's a Stratus Fire 1 um, for £400. Now, obviously, if you're going to spend 150 or 180, 400 is pretty well double. Um, but my sense over the last few years, if you're going to spend 150, but you actually want to spend 400, just keep saving. You know, don't drink as much beer, don't have as many carryouts, and before you know it, you've got enough for your kind of dream tent, if you like. So, I think because of the second-hand market, there's actually a lot more access because they're they're in the states and i don't think there's any kind of uk or europe um distributors of of tarp tent um so it is a bit of a hassle i can't remember how much it costs for for kind of postage but so today's really just a bit of a kind of i'm going to put up both my stratus fire one and my scarp one we're going to have a little talk through some of the specs i want to kind of talk about the weight the the the, the sill i think it's sill nylon it's pretty quiet in the wind, whereas see some of the cheaper tents that I've got, when you start getting wind, it, it's really noisy. Um, so there's something about that as well. So I'll talk about some of the kind of the, the fabric, some of the kind of material, some of the weights. I also need to cut cut the ground sheet, as I said, for the Stratus fire. So thank you again for joining me. Um, I'm going to hopefully get out again kind of next weekend. Just been quite sort of busy and... Um, thing, things just not, not working out this weekend to get out so I thought I'll just get a couple of tents up in the back garden and do a little bit of, kind of cleaning, a bit of tidying, a bit of sorting out 
So sit back, it, it, won't, it shouldn't be a, a long one, but already I've probably taken about a five minute intro, so apologies, hopefully get Audrey on the video kind of later on, because I know she's a bit of a star of the show. Um, so thanks again for tuning in, and hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy um, some of the, the content. Please leave a comment or ask a question. Um, if you're if you're not too sure, so I'll talk you through some of the kind of main bits and pieces of, of kind of both the tent, and I'll try and get the camera a little bit closer because there's been some criticisms around some of the kind of build quality on the scarp. The Stratus Fire uses a double pull, and and the, the spike is up, so people are kind of how how does that not puncture the tent and so on. So I'll try and hone in on a couple of wee bits that um, of interest. The single pull on the scarp one. The, the, they've used these very small little pockets that, that somebody was criticising. They look they look a bit flimsy and small, but in actual fact, I've been using mine, I don't know, 50 times or something like that, and they've not they've not budged. So, you know, although although some of it looks a bit sort of maybe slightly flimsy, in actual fact, it's been built really really well. So let's have a little look at some of those sort of finer um, details and. I've got the older version of the SCARP one, I think over the last year or two they've upgraded it so there's actually more pocket space, um, hence why I want the kind of attic fit on, on mine just because there's two little pockets at the top of the SCARP one and if you end up having your head at the other end all of a sudden you have no, no storage so the attic is a wee bit of a solution to that but it does kind of hang down a little bit so, but anyway I'll stop blethering, we'll get both the tents up um, I'll film a little bit of putting them up and especially the bits and pieces about the poles and so on but realistically let's get them both up and then I'll sort of bring you back and we'll talk a little bit more about um, either some of the specs, some of the space, some of the weight, some of the quality etc. So thanks again. This was, I'm not sure if it's a, a criticism or, or sort of comments, but this is the little sleeve that, that you put the, the pole through and then this is the little into it sits in and then you just tighten up the you tighten up the I found it really simple really quick really easy there's a little knack you need to sort of shake a little bit but that's been a kind of criticism I found it really straightforward So this little bit of Velcro, not the best, actually works pretty well. Um, the the double porch, so you've got 
you know, this, this, that adjusts, um, decent size bag up here. Guy out point here, so you can have a double guy. Um, the the crossover poles making it four season. I won't bother putting them up. There's plenty of YouTube videos with the foot the, the crossover poles. But really, just for almost becomes freestanding, but not quite. It's really just for snow ventilation at this end. Good ventilation at that end. Ventilation both. Both sides. Both ends. Right, I'm going to get the Stratus fire up. The Stratus fires a double pole tent. So you set your poles at 120. And as I said, it's spike up. And I'll show you that on the second pole. This is the set set at 120 coming this way, and so you, you pop that in the door, and then this little cup, and it's a re reinforced cup that that this cannot go through, and it sits. It's quite deep. It's actually really you know, it's, that's really stable there. And then that just gets guyed out, if you follow me. Like that. So with the Stratus fire you've got it's a double pole. You're getting a good height and two big vestibules. Again, you're picking these up second hand now on eBay in the UK, so very little postage, quite light to post. Um, and you've got decent ventilation, both ends, and then your usual upper two-way zip on the, the door. So the Stratus Fire <coughs> two-pole, really big, I mean, That's your vestibule. Oh, just come out to play. <coughs> so you you've seen the two the two poles, um, big vestibule. Lightweight, super lightweight. I'm going to cut the little bit of plastic. I always use a ground sheet just to kind of. It adds a lot of um, dryness here to your your vestibule. Um, so when you're getting your rucksack in here and your boots, but you can see, you know, 
from, from being inside. The the kind of the living the living space is a couple of these things they should have put a a loop a loop on there because the poles will definitely roughly be at the same position every time. That pulls the this is the, the, the one, so it's a slightly narrower. But fine, I've had I've had a dog in it than it. Than it. So this is this is the I'm taking taking that down to put it into the the scarf for the winter. I'm just gonna put a little bit of red tape on the ground sheet of the Stratosphere one and a little bit of tape on the one of the guys on the end just to kinda so I'm putting down the ground sheet and all which end of the the tent goes to that end because it's a wee bit of an odd shape just to kinda just to kinda line it up. So again the interior of the scarf just I like the the height of the bottom box. That's your two pockets. Um, this was the, the kind of earlier generation, that was the only storage, they've upgraded that. But again you've got your little clips here that I'm going to suspend the attic down the middle. And I'm going to show you just a bit more added ventilation. This is the winter inner, so it's all mesh, a little bit of vent at the top. We've got the summer one as well which is all mesh um, but now that we're into October and it's going to start getting cold um, so just you know again so sit, sitting up obviously I don't I don't have a I don't have a mat so I'm five eight I think six foot plus it's going to be quite tight anything under six foot I think you've got enough space in this tent so it's quite low to the ground, it's quite aerodynamic because you've got three pegs at both ends, that's six, plus across the middle, six, eight, even more around the side. And then with the cross, you know, it's, it's, it feels proper four season bulletproof. So again, depending on what you're doing, but if you're up in the hills in Scotland and it's starting to get gale force, you want something that's going to and it's, is it half the price of a Hilleberg? It's probably about half the price um, of a Hilleberg, so you're probably, and, but let's look at the weights as well. If I can, if I remember, I'll try and do a comparison with the Hilleberg weight. So this is super lightweight um, and bulletproof, windproof. So it's not the most expensive tent by any means on the market. And it looks, the business. So that's the wee additional, it actually adds a little bit of cross tension as well. I'm going to show you this additional ventilation as well, so it's at the bottom of the doors. You've got you've got that So, so having that lower ventilation on both sides, it's not a game changer, but that there's not many tents, and that's a, it's not unique, but so in terms of ventilation, you've got lower both sides, and the good thing about that is if it's raining. It will it will kind of run down here. So unless it's kind of horizontal rain, that should. So you've got both sides good at the end. 
you've got decent top top ventilation so again ventilation really really good I've marked the scarp with the the red tape there because if the wind you want to know which way to point your tent into the wind porch wise so because both sides zip up on the same side um, you don't you don't want the wind blowing that way into your porch so again a little bit of tape just to indicate which way is windward so the red the red tape points into the direction of the wind a couple of nice features in the stratus fire they've changed that to a simple toggle um, there's pockets on both both center bits there's pockets um, I mean the height and the space and the stratosphere it's a wee bit of a faff to put up and you need to rely on the two poles I'm always anxious if there's a, a problem with any pole and you're you know and you don't want to be carrying three poles so it does become a little bit relying on your poles but these have never let me down these are these are ancient black diamond they're fine but again lightweight we'll do some specs I think we'll have a quick quick tour just that's the Thank you, I've taken both the tents down because it started to rain there so need to dry them out a little bit, a couple of spots of rain on them So that's the Stratus Fire 1 getting packed up for the winter and the Scarp 1 coming out for my winter adventures I'll talk you through some of the specs um, Hopefully today, I'm hoping the bit, especially the kind of lower ventilation on the Scarp came out I'm an absolute fan of the Scarp 1 um, I've had Van Goghs and no people with the kind of MSRs and the kind of, you know, nature height, you know, so I don't know, there's so much choice on the market, um, but anyway, I'm going to run through some specs, I've just kind of written some down. I'll start off with the Stratus Fire, Stratus, Stratopa, Stratus Fire 1, um, weight wise, just over a kilogram, that's with the, the pegs, the couple little poles that are inside it on, on the end um, and the solid fly sheet so it's 1031 grams and that's really what attracted me was the kind of weight you saw the size, you saw the two porches um, it's obviously a two pole I've, particularly the last kind of month or two, but a bit of a sore leg so I walk with a pole, I've walked with poles the last few years um, so having the two poles there you're a little bit reliant on the poles if you have a malfunction of the pole yeah you can sleep with one so it wouldn't be the end of the world um so but you are reliant on the two poles for the for that it's a 20d silicon coated um outer that's been coated on both sides 
YKK zips which are always really good, they're also kind of sort of sealed um, 3000 millimeter hydrostatic so again really waterproof, it's, it's I've had it in heavy heavy rains um, you get an optional um, side car for pets and kids so in that in the big um, vestibule space you get an inner that you can you can zip zip young people in so again quite flexible um, double walled it, it talk they talk about a kind of bigger um, usable floor space uh, two big vestibules which you've seen both sides so that was one of the attractions you get a solid or you get a mesh interior for winter or summer they call it a three slash four season I've had it up in wind, big winds, um, obviously heavy snows, you know, you'd start to kind of hit some difficulties with the kind of sort of weight, so kind of sort of, you know, three slash four season. So that's, that's the Stratosphere. It's my summer tent, it's lighter weight, um, it's been a good tent, I've had it out most of this summer, which, which has been really good. So we'll just quickly round up on the, 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 the Scarp one. Um, they describe it as a, a kind of fully weatherproof pod, um, which is which is which is cool. Um, definite four season, thirty D double ripstop fabrics, three thousand mil hydrostatic again. Same zippers, the dub the YKK, um, extra wide interior. So I mean that's the Scarp one, and you can get two sleeping mats in that. They obviously make a Scarp two, which would be you know I'd love a Scarp two. If I was ever camping with anyone else, that would definitely be my go-to tent. It's obviously a bit wider um, and just generally a bit roomier. Um, so they do make it into a two-person tent. Double walls, again, you've got your winter, which you saw on today, which is much more full. But you've also got a summer mesh in there. Um, you've got the op optional crossing poles, which I kind of described. You've seen, it's all over YouTube. They're really good for keeping the snow, any kind of snow loading, um, but also you can pick it up and move it about like a bit freestanding. Um, I've had them up a few times. You need to put the little um, straps on. And there's a couple little mods that I've done um, that make, makes it a lot, lot easier. If I get a snow camp this winter, I'll definitely take them. But really, it's just for snow loading that's the only time that i would ever use the kind of cross poles they obviously add a little bit of extra weight um you've got dual doors so which is really handy for gaining in and out um and a decent size kind of vestibule and the good thing about the scarp is that you can you can sort of like you know you can shift the the inner walls out or in to create a bigger vestibule um but you saw as well that that kind of on the, the outside you can pull up the, the the outside to create a vent so you've got a vent on the bottom on both sides of the door which will create cross cross air movement and then you've got the the bottom that, that creates the cross air and then you've got the top which is really really good particularly in Scotland where we can get quite a lot of rain quite a lot of humidity so very flexible build quality I showed you that little cup and um, on the strap it's never it's never been a problem there's never been really any there was a tiny tiny little sort of hole in the the outer that I um, repaired um, but again it was almost like a wee not a, not a burn an ember but it was a tiny pinhole other than that the build quality has been really really good um, and I just love it. I think it's a brilliant all-round tent. Totally reassured when you're in it. It's not too noisy in the wind. It's quite quiet. You can pin it out. There's lots of additional guide points right around the bottom and on the sides. Um, so generally, it's been an absolutely fantastic tent. And like I said as well in my, my, my earlier on in the video, you're getting them um, second hand now. So because they're so popular, there's a lot getting sold on eBay, so you're picking them up for much, much less. So that saves on postage, saves on all the kind of customs and excise stuff, and you can get them a bit more local. So shop around, wait. Obviously, if you're buying anything secondhand, there's, a, there's an element of risk there. 
Um, but as long as the you know you do your homework, then then there's options there, which which is the main thing. So in terms of the kind of cross poles and the weight, just finishing off the haven't done any sizes. You've seen the sizes. You you know the the, the Stratosphere one when you're putting your 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 tent your your walking pole to about one twenty one twenty five centimeters in height. I mean you've also got a little bit of the scarp as well. You know you're you're sitting with a, a bit of headroom, and it's and it's wide. Weight wise on the scarp, one three seven six grams. So not quite one and a half kilograms so again much lighter than um a lot of the other tents is it the lightest it's up there with the lightest obviously if you're winter and you're needing that four season cross pole you can get a carbon fiber cross pole set which is an additional 258 so that's taking you just over a kilogram and a half or you've got the normal cross poles that i got which were 439 so you're still you're still down at about one point seven um, kilograms roughly, including the the inner the pegs. Both tents can get set up um, with the inners attached, which is really good for rain. Or you could you could set them up with the inners not attached. Um, so lots of flexibility. Great great customer service from Tarp Tent. I'm an I'm a, an absolute you know fan of them. Best tents that I've had. Um, so I think we'll round up there um, have a look at the tarp tent um, website the, the scarp just now is about $450 I don't know what that is in, in UK sterling um, but they do have sales as well so again worth looking I'm sure tarp tent have their sales um, when is it at the end of the year so you can save about 70 UK pounds most sales that they do and they tend to have a sale every year so that's worth kind of noting as well. So listen, we'll wrap up there. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Just a kind of quick look at my two tarp tents um, with a real focus on the scarps. I think my, my thumbnail is going to be something like best tent in the world because I think it is and it's certainly up there. So um, please leave a little comment, even just hit the thumbs up if you've if you've got this far um it really does help the, the channel um, i've been getting lots of really positive feedback recently from my last uh, few videos which is helping me to kind of get a bit of energy and get a bit of focus again so please leave a comment please um follow the channel if you've not already i'm going to be getting out over the winter and um, get the scarf get some fire get some cooking so i want to take you along um, on those adventures so Really appreciate everyone's support and all your kind words recently. It means a lot. So listen, I'll stop there and we'll catch you in the next trip. So take care.